defenders throwing the alley-oop to Steven Adams. I've never talked to you about this, but I'm guessing you love Steven Adams as a player. Oh, man. When I, I said at the beginning of the season that OKC was going to cause some problems, and I said Steven Adams was going to be my MVP. It, what? He's had the best year of his career. Man, I love Steven Adams. There's not too many centers like him in the game no more. I, I could see you rolling with him. I love him. Moving on to Pacers and Cavs, DeMontis Sabonis in transition all over Kevin Love. Watch it in slow motion, Not but so it's the same Kevin thing. Love. Hey, <laughs> or DeMontis his Sabonis. dad is proud right now because his dad badly could touch the rim when he was in the league. Oh, are these? <laughs> He's yeah. one of the best passers ever, but he couldn't yeah. jump. He was not athletic at all. That's a good throwback. <laughs> I don't think that's a dunk, though. He threw it in there. Same game. Lance Stevenson through the lane. Big dunk. You know, if, if he can just play basketball and stop all the antics in this series being up 1-0, yes. they got Speaking a chance. Of antics. They got a chance. Because he gives LeBron some problems. He competes. He's not scared of him. Yes. Not scared of him, and he annoys LeBron. Like that, he the, the not backing down from LeBron and the talking clearly agitates LeBron. And the headbutt, Steven, you like that? It was a solid headbutt there. Practically, practically concussed. Jack in with all that extra. Nah, that ain't, that ain't I'm, that. I'm, I'm really with it. Ready? You know what I mean? <laughs> I I'm really with it. Like if, if I'm, I'm a, a real tough guy, head, not a pretend. I'm not going to head bump you. I'm going to go at your jaw. <laughs> the, uh, the Warriors opened up the NBA playoffs Saturday hosting the Spurs. Warriors weren't exactly the unstoppable brood down the stretch. It didn't matter, though, in game one. No Steph Curry, no problem. Warriors blowing out San Antonio 113-92. Durant and Klay Thompson combining for 51. And Draymond Green shined at the podium like he does after the game. Take a listen. Regardless of what everyone's saying, the Warriors have lost it. They're not together. Um, they can't win without Steph. They're not the same team. Blase, 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 blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, we know who we're capable of. And so, you know, there's been games that we've won without Steph. A uh, series, same as Kevin, uh, myself. You know, we've won games without myself. We've won games without Clay. We've won games without our head coach, you know. And so, you know, we're primed for this. And, you know, I think a lot of people have tended to forgot uh, what we're capable of. We know, and we're going to show that. Boom. What do you think? I always say he's a way more athletic version of me. Uh, his heart, his passion for the game, being a great teammate, that's why I love Draymond. And he couldn't answer that question any better. Everybody's been writing them off. Everybody said they can't win without stuff. Everybody said they hurt. This is the year to knock the, uh, the Warriors off. But me, I think they can win the first two rounds without stuff. Because they still have KD, they still have Draymond, they still have Clay. They have a great team. And you think they had 60 something assists, the one of the, the highest uh, a margin of assists in, in this year and last game. So, this I'm not worried about these guys at all. He's exactly right. They're gonna prove everybody wrong, and I, I expect them to be in the West Conference Finals. The one thing that we did see, even though Steph wasn't there, um, you pointed out as far as their ball movement, that was one of the things that made them special um, outside their shooting. They were able to make shots. But the other thing, and it's tangible. Man, they play great defense. Mm -hmm. I mean, they suffocate San Antonio. They could not get an open shot, an open look. And regardless, if you try to go pick and roll, they can switch from the one to the two to the two all the way to the five. And JaVale McGee giving them a boost in that first quarter, mm -hmm. uh, energy boost. Like, this was a different team. This was a team that we are used to seeing. And to me, it started on the defensive end. They are a special defensive unit. And they showed that in game number one. All right, I want to go to what Draymond said and what you said. Who are these people that made the Warriors an underdog? I just want to know who they are. I didn't, I, uh, across all networks, all channels, the only human being I saw that picked the Spurs in the series was Earl Watson, and it made headlines because no one was picking the Spurs in the series. <laughs> Vegas has the Warriors. I think As, Draymond was talking about in, in the playoffs, not just this series, in the playoffs in general. Well, in the playoffs in general, they are the, still the betting favorite to win the NBA championship. They are coming off, they're in the midst of, the greatest right four-year regular season. It's not like Draymond in, made that up, though. No, no, but hold They've on. Never been right? questioned. They've never been questioned as much as going into a first round ever going into the playoffs. They've been questioned a lot. What's ear? Listen, I, I agree with everything you said about the basketball game. JaVale was excellent early. Mm -hmm. She shut down LaMarcus Aldridge early. Their defense as a whole was absolutely suffocating. I agree with all that. But the Warriors, it's just remarkable to me that all of a sudden, the defending champion, mm -hmm. four Hall of Fame Warriors, or nobody believed in us? Like, nobody thought we could do it. Oh, we're down to just Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson, and the reigning defensive player of the year. The, the Spurs don't have Kawhi Leonard. Like, what? 
I, I don't understand. I don't understand where this narrative came from. If it came from anywhere, it was you guys took off the last month of the season. Mm -hmm. You were seven and ten down the stretch. Mm -hmm. No one made. No one did that to you. You guys proactively chose either to rest or to not go all out. Whatever it is, I just. It's to me, it's a false narrative. The idea that people were writing off the Warriors. Who are these people that are writing uh, off Not the, the people writing them off, Nick, but they receive more criticism than in the four-year window that we've seen them. On, on TV shows like this one, people have criticized the Warriors. It's not like Draymond got up there and made that up. Right. Part of that is true, but also part of being an elite athlete is trying to find some little edge that would give you an advantage as you move forward. No, people weren't questioning them as far as the San Antonio series, but on their ability to repeat, Houston being better than them, that has been constantly talked about the last couple months. And they never went into the playoffs with, with being so beat up. You never had Steph so beat up. You never had Clay with a thumb injury. Their last game, they lost by 40 points. Yeah. I mean, they had no momentum whatsoever coming into the playoffs. Yeah, and then, you know, a lot of people, like I said, injury and, and a lot of stuff going on, but there's no way the Spurs going to beat them with Ginobili being their best player. I love Ginobili. He's one of my favorite teammates. But at this point, if he's their best player, there's no way they're going to beat them. Danny Green can't beat nobody off the dribble. Uh, a lot of these guys are, are really spot-up shooters mm -hmm. and pick-and-roll players. And, and the way Golden State play defense, you're not really getting a shot off pick-and-rolls because nobody's really helping off LaMarcus Aldridge. So right. if these guys can't come off the dribble and make plays, they're going to get blown out. It's going to be a sweep. Listen, I, I give the Warriors an enormous amount of credit for how they played in this Spurs game. Like the the defense, as CC mentioned, was basically perfect. They 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 pitched as close as you can to an NBA shutout in the first half of that basketball game mm -hmm. and won it right there. They also they they are so happy that they got the Spurs and the Rockets got the Timberwolves. Timberwolves would present different problems for them. I think the Warriors would be either one of those teams. I didn't think the Warriors could lose in the first round. But they got the team of all the teams who made the playoffs in the West. If they could pick who they were playing in round one, who do you think they'd have picked? Yeah, San Antonio, no question. Right, they, they just don't have the offensive firepower to stick with them. I just, the, if, if, I just don't understand. And if, if CC, if your point is you're just, it's the old Michael Jordan created trash talk where it didn't I mean, exist. that's part of it. But part of it's real, though. It is. Right. I mean, there is more doubt in Golden State, Anytime. and there's more conversation than since this team has emerged from over three seasons ago. And that is real. Draymond is not making that up. I've been on this show. We question. I think Houston's going to win. You've questioned it. Either that or you don't remember. And every person that's sat here from a basketball mm -hmm. analyst, the NBA, has said that. So Draymond's not. He's just repeating what he's heard. That's true. Nick, you sat here and you said, oh, KD with his ribs, like there's a way to get him. And, and Draymond with yes, his shoulder and Clay with his hand. Like they, they look for the first time like they actually look like a weakened team. Absolutely. But right. they, they do against the Rockets because the Rockets are a 65-win team. And if Draymond, if, if that's what Draymond was talking about, that all of a sudden we're not just just, we're just the favorites to win the title as opposed to the overwhelming betting favorites against the entire NBA. Fine. No one was doubting them against the Spurs. Nobody. Nobody thought... You were talking about how they didn't have home court even if Toronto made to the finals. Correct. But that's what... Again, that if, if Draymond was talking, CC, about that now all of a sudden they've reaffirmed that they're the best team in the NBA, well, then I guess I'm still doubting him because I don't believe that. I believe it's Houston. If that's what he's talking about. Yes, but that's, that's, of course that's what he's talking about. But that's about. not what he said. He said, oh, they can't win a game without Steph. Like, they, blase, blase, they forgot who we were. Like Down the stretch, they were having a hard time winning a game without Steph when all their stars were playing all the minutes. They weren't deliberately resting. Kurt you said it was an embarrassment of riches. Those are your exact words. Mm -hmm. Quote and quote. It was an embarrassment of riches that they have. It didn't make sense for them to be struggling with three Hall of Fame players. So the next game they played, all they did was blow someone out, all right? Just And they brought their level of defense and the attention to detail, and they knocked yeah. down shots. They played at a pace, too. It was quicker than what they finished the regular season. But you never, you never seen them this vulnerable, and that's the whole thing. you never seen them go, going into the last month of the season with f their four stars all banged up. You never seen it, and that's why they've been. That's why everybody thinking that they're so vulnerable, you know, because these the guys things beat that up. we've said. Also, you said you weren't worried about Cleveland. You said you was worried about Golden because, State. Because I'd be worried about Cleveland if Houston was on their side of the bracket. <laughs> that was about Houston. That's more about Houston than anything else. But the again, I just I think some of this is a little revisionist history. This team's never been vulnerable. They were down three one in the Western Conference Finals, and they did lose an NBA Finals. Mm -hmm. Since they got Kevin Durant, they haven't been vulnerable. And by the way, they still aren't vulnerable in the first round. 
The only reason this discussion has existed is because of Steph's injury and because they have the Rockets pending. Nobody thought that the Spurs were going to give them trouble. We thought the Spurs were the perfect no, match. We're not talking about the Spurs, Nick. We're talking about the Western Conference and their ability to repeat as champions. All of us have questioned that, either that or I don't know what I'm talking about. No, we right. absolutely have. I didn't think that's what Draymond was talking about. We got to take a break. Stephen, thanks so much for hanging with us. Break anytime. Wear anytime. your sweater anytime. I ain't got like no it. confidence in you, Jack. Coming up, what's next for the Cowboys now that they've cut Des Bryant? First things first, back after this. Come on, Cowboys. <laughs>